with the top 10 innovations that failed. There's the broken light bulb right there. These are all true items, by the way. Number 10, Harley Davidson perfume. <laughs> Somebody thought that was a good idea. Because uh, when you think of things that smell good, you think of people riding a Harley all day, don't you? <laughs> Number nine, phone fingers. For people that don't want to take 20 seconds to clean up their screen, so they take 20 minutes to put on foam fingers. <laughs> These are all true stories, by the way. Number eight, the TV hat. This is for the guy that wants to watch TV in bed but doesn't want to disturb his wife or vice versa. Nothing more attractive than that laying next to you. The TV hat, for some reason, did not make it. Number seven, innovation that failed. Lifesavers soda. Mmm. Doesn't that sound refreshing? Picture a pocket full of melted Lifesavers in a bottle. That's, that's a, actually a true item that didn't last long. Number six, innovation that failed was the cocaine energy drink. <laughs> that's if you've had a rough day, you want to drive from Mesa to Boston. Just chug a bottle of cocaine energy drink. Street value undetermined. <laughs> Number five, innovation that failed. Clairol's Touch of Yo Class Yogurt Shampoo. That's for the busy woman that likes to have breakfast in the shower. <laughs> it's taking multi multitasking to a whole different and wrong level. Uh, True, true item, didn't last long on the shelves. Number four, the innovation that failed was the Colgate Kitchen Entrees. Doesn't that sound minty fresh? <laughs> Once again, for the multitasker that wants to eat and one third less plaque at the same time. <laughs> Number three, this one doesn't even picture the smell. Bengay Aspirin. Fast pain relief. That's uh, wrong on a whole bunch of different levels. Number two, innovation that did not live up to uh, expectations. Bottled water for pets. For that picky animal that we all love. Why go to the tap when you can crack open a bottle of water? And the number one innovation that failed. We had to go back, just so you don't think this is all new stuff, the firebox trap prankster alarm. Let me explain this. Keep that up. Keep that up, Bob. That was a true item. They were having a problem back in the 30s with people that would prank and, and turn the fire alarm on. So they figured, I'm not sure where it went. So they figured, no, let's just keep it so whoever trips the fire alarm gets stuck in the fire alarm. It was always easy to identify whoever, whoever pulled the fire alarm by dental records. <laughs> Who called the alarm in? The dead guy hanging from the alarm. <laughs>